Hi YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to post a video that's shorter than 15 seconds on IGTV. And the way I'm going to show you how to do that is by looping the video so that it plays multiple times and then you can post it on IGTV. Okay, so you guys have probably experienced this problem before, but here I have a video that is 8 seconds long. You guys can see it's something I shot on my iPhone, uh, I shot it a few months ago at the beach, and it's just me like looking around at the beach. The problem is, when I try, you can see it's eight seconds long. The problem is when I try to upload this to IGTV by going to you know Instagram.com, going to IGTV and clicking upload, um, it's just not long enough. Like here, I'm gonna drag and drop the file onto this uh, drag and drop area and you can see there's an error. My video doesn't meet the requirements because it's too short. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to solve this problem. So um, the first thing you're gonna do is just go to this website called Kapwing, K-A-P-W-I-N-G and uh, click on the first result, which is uh, which is the Kapwing website. So Kapwing is a free online video editor. It lets you do like simple edits in the browser, so you can use it on any device, It'll, like work on your Chromebook, your Mac, your, des your Windows desktop computer, your phone, all sorts of other things. Um, so you can see there's a bunch of different tools, but I'm gonna go ahead and click the loop video tool here since I'm trying to extend the length of a video. Um, so you can see you can paste a link if your video is like on YouTube or on Vimeo or something like that. Um, but since I have the video on my computer, I'm going to go ahead and, um, let's see, can I drag and drop it? Put it here. Yes, I can. Um, you'll see the video just uploads. Here it is. Uh, playing in the browser. You can see that it's only eight seconds long here. I guess you couldn't really see it before, so. Um, so yeah, then the looper is super simple. Um, you just choose, I'm just, I just paused it, uh, obviously. But um, you can see, you can choose the number of loops that you um, want to do. So um, my video is eight seconds long, so the output video will be six, 16 seconds if I loop it twice. That's long enough for IGTV. Um, I think I might go ahead and loop it three times, just so it's like a little bit longer, a little bit more engaging, stuff like that. You can also see there's other options here, like I can trim out the video, for example, if I like, wanted to trim out like the end section, make it a little bit shorter. Um, and I can also do things like add a custom watermark, go on with like, my logo or my name onto the, onto the, uh, let's see, cap like, onto the side here. So yeah, after I'm done doing that, I just click this create button. It might be kind of blocked on my face, but you can click this pink, oops, let me pause this. You can click this pink create button to just process the video. And all of the processing happens in the cloud. It's all done remotely, so it doesn't like heat up your computer or anything like that. Um, and it should just take, you know, like less than 10 seconds or, you know, 10 to 20 seconds ish to process. Um, so yeah, you just wait for your video to load. And then here it is. Here's my extended video. Um, I can. Um, and then I can just download the video directly. You see that all this was free to use. I didn't even have to create an account to sign in or whatever, or to use the tool or whatever. But there is a small watermark, a small complaint watermark here in the corner. So just be aware that it's free, but if you want to remove the watermark, you do have to pay a fee. So I'm just gonna use the free version. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the video directly. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's downloading onto my computer here. Um, and then I can go to my account on IGTV. Okay, and now we just do exactly what we did before, but with our longer video. Um, so I just came to Instagram.com on my profile. Um, I'm going to go to the IGT IGTV tab right here underneath my stories. Click the upload tab, uh, the blue button here, and then drag and drop the new video, the one that I just downloaded from Kapwing. Um, so just dragging it there. Um, here you can see it is. You can see like kind of like here in the corner is the little red watermark. Um, here's like the small Kapwing watermark down here in the... Uh, bottom left corner. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to title this. Um, let's see. This was from Earth Day. So I guess we're going to do Earth Day 2018. Um, and let's see. I'm going to put my name here. Uh, filmed. It was filmed here Pacifica here in California. Um, and that's all. Then I can just post it directly from my computer. Um, so awesome that Instagram made it super easy to publish IGTV videos um, from your computer rather than having to do it on the mobile phone. So you don't have to like pass these heavy video files back and forth between your phone and your computer. Um, so yeah, you can see um, here it is just uploading here and uh, no problem with the length. Uh, now the video is long enough. And here it is. Um, I can show you guys the results on IGTV. 
Um, here is my Earth Day video playing on the Kapwing IGTV channel. You can see that it loops multiple times so that um, the user can watch it three times or like skip on to the next video or whatever. But um, that's uh, basically how you use the Kapwing looper. And uh, yeah, it's super useful for, for posting like really funny or really cool like short clips of things that have happened in your life uh, for your audience to see. Thanks. That's all I got. Bye.